Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today and welcome to this educational presentation. Now, today I'm really excited because I want to be talking about a new feature today. I'm going to introduce you to the new bracket breakout trading method. This is a brand new feature we have that uh, we've been looking at, and it really has shown some remarkable results as of late. But first, I'd like to start off by asking you a question, and I think most of you will be able to answer this honestly, and that is, do you always seem to miss the big breakout moves? This is a very common question we get from brand new students who say, Steve, you know, all my friends got into AMC or they got into a GME, GameStop, and uh, Bitcoin, and I've missed everything. I don't know how to get these big moves because they seem to take off before I even have a chance to find out myself. That's very common. A lot of new beginning students are looking for these big moves because that's really what they're looking for, a new quick type of uh, method that will enable them to identify these moves. Well, first of all, let's first understand why you're missing these moves. Could it be because of the things you're basing your strategy or method on are faulty or they're not very consistent? For example, as we look at this chart here in NTLA, most traders would look at this and say, well, it's a sideways market. There's absolutely nothing happening here. And I don't want to get involved in something that's going to just go sideways for the remainder of the year and have my money tied up. So after all that and going to the chat room and listening to some so-called gurus on TV and reading all the economic reports, your analysis is there's basically nothing to see here and there are no trading opportunities. So you walk away and look for something else that's exciting that everyone's talking about on some post or that's in the news and that's what you want to jump on, right? So while you forget all about NTLA, look what happens. It takes off. So once again, you miss the big move. Maybe you were thinking about it the way most traders were. They were saying, well, I was interested, but it just seemed like nothing was happening, okay? Well, here's the good news. With the new bracket breakout trading method, you could have actually seen that a setup was generated three or four days before the stock broke out. And potentially, if you had taken that signal, well, you potentially could have captured 120 points in just six days, okay? So that's why we call it our bracket breakout trading method, because it's specifically designed to identify these stocks, futures, currency pairs, or Bitcoin, even commodities that are set to break out. Here's the good news. There's not a lot of work that goes into this. In fact, I think this is probably our simplest method to date. Why? Because we made it that way. Everything is one click away on the PTS Primo charting platform. It auto identifies these bracket breakouts in advance. So there's really nothing you have to do in terms of analysis, in terms of figuring out if this is a strategy you want to know all the rules to. It's extremely simple and I'll show you how powerful it is in today's presentation. So welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo. I'm the president and founder of Specialist Trading. Along with Pro Trader Strategies, we teamed up roughly about a dozen years ago with one goal in mind, and that was simply to educate traders so that they could make their own trading decisions. It's our philosophy, both our companies, that the reason why most traders fail is because you're relying on someone or something else to make your own trading decisions. And I know this firsthand because when I first started trading 44 years ago, on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange, I did the exact same thing, okay? I, I was in charge of making markets in roughly about 60 stocks, and every one of those stocks, I had to know what the economic uh, you know, view was on the company. I had to know what their earnings estimates were. I had to know about the CEO and the direction of the company. I also had to know about interest rates, uh, what was going on economically in the world. I also listened to a lot of so-called gurus on TV. I also had tons of indicators on my screen to help me, and guess what? Nothing worked in terms of consistency. Nothing really helped me. Sure, every once in a while, I'd have a winner and I'd feel confident thinking, hey, well, I'm back on track. Things are going to start working for me. And then using the same worn out techniques, the same things that I'm sure many of you are using four decades later, I was right back to zero again or I was in the negative call. So I was lucky enough to have some mentors on the floor. These were specialists themselves who taught me the things that I teach my students now because these are the same things that have sustained me and hopefully they'll be able to sustain you. They're all based in simplicity and in listening to the market and not in outside sources that really hold no level of consistency. And you'll see that attention to detail in today's class. But before we begin, once again, as always, we are required by law to show this with, uh, share it with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. 
I'm going to show you a lot of performance results, a lot of charts today applying this new method. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. Also, since we are first and foremost an educational company only, all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, there's lots of ways to get education. You can become a student of ours, but you can also get education on a daily basis by following us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. If you'd like to copy that down, I post different things each and every day, some little bits of financial wisdom to actual uh, snapshots of our strategies or techniques that have just been generated in stocks or futures or commodity pairs or currency pairs or even Bitcoin. So lots of great free education on a daily basis. Please feel free to follow us on Twitter. Now, as I stated in the opening statements, we are different from other webinars because we are first and foremost an educational company. That's our only goal. So as an educator, our goal is not to force feed you signals. It's not to tell you what to buy or what to sell the way you might find at other webinars. We're not going to tell you what we think of the market or what we think is going to happen next week or today or tomorrow, or if you think it's topped out or bottoming out. No, we don't believe in that. We don't have any idea. Our job is simply to follow the markets and then teach you how to do the same thing. If the market wants to go up, then we're buyers. If the market wants to go down, then we're sellers. But we have to learn how to listen to the market so that we know what it's telling us. This is our goal as an educator, as a mentor, not to trade for you, but to teach you how to trade with the specialist edge. I often tell my students, what is the one question you should never ask? And that is, Someone else asking someone else, either your friend, family member, or some so-called guru, what do you think of the market? Because when you say that, or what do you think of this stock, or what do you think of this uh, uh, Dogecoin, or what do you think of this? What you're basically saying is, I don't have any idea. I don't know what to do, and I don't have enough experience, I don't have enough knowledge, or I don't have enough courage, so why don't you tell me what to do? And so you should never get involved in any endeavor, whether it's trading, starting your own business, or you know, trying to lose weight. It really makes no difference, but you should never get into anything where you have to ask other people. You should know exactly what you want to do and then follow that plan. Now, sure, you should be mentored and educated by someone who can tell you, but ultimately you have to answer that for yourself. And that's the service we provide. We teach all of our students all the tips, techniques, and strategies that have stood the test of time so that ultimately you can make your own trading decision. Remember, a good mentor does not trade for you. He teaches you how to trade on your own. Okay, now today, once again, we're talking about a brand new feature I'm really excited about. We've seen some really great success, and I want to go into it really quickly. But before we begin, once again, if you have any questions, please wait till the end of class to ask. I promise I'll get to each and every one of them. I'm going to tell you about a great offer we have today at the end of class, and you can ask me questions afterwards. Now, the only question I will answer is this one, the most common one, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, we record all of our webinars. You have to leave early you're, or you're having technical issues. You can't see or hear me clearly. Don't worry. Uh, you, we will send each and every one of you a link to this recording so that you can watch it at your own leisure, okay? So we have a good crowd here today. Remember, if you have a question, please wait till the end. All right, with that stated, let's begin today's educational class. So we're going to be talking about our new, for simplicity's sake, we call it the BBTM, or that's basically the bracket breakout trading method to make things simpler. But what does this new bracket breakout trading method feature do? Okay, well, once again, it was specifically designed to identify stocks that are set to break out. Now, as I say, identify stocks, yes, it was designed to identify stocks. But guess what? We found out that it can also identify currency pairs. It can identify futures. It can identify different time frames. It can also identify uh, Bitcoin or uh, uh, cryptocurrencies. Makes no difference. It can go through all the markets, all the time frames, and you can apply this feature to see when these markets are about to break out. So what are bracket breakout setups based on? Okay, well, I can't go into the inner workings because it is proprietary, but it is based on a very sensitive stop level. All right, these bracket setups are based on proprietary dynamic stop levels. Now, these stop levels are so sensitive, they're so unique that we use them basically to track trades once you're in a trade. And once that level is broken, that is the best place to get out because 
They're based on market behavior and they're extremely sensitive. For example, as we look at this chart here in Google, this is a weekly chart of Google going back to the beginning of this year. Let's say you were lucky enough in your long-term portfolio to buy some shares here, okay? So what you would do is apply these dynamic stops that would keep you in the trade as it went up. And therefore, you could lock in your profits and ultimately, once the trend changed, you would get out with a nice profit locked in. Now, it can also work the other way. If a stock is headed lower, Let's say you don't want to short this stock. This is a weekly chart of Acadia Pharmaceuticals, but let's say you wanted to get in. Well, you could use these dynamic stops because they're so sensitive. Here's a buy stop. And once that has been penetrated, once the threshold is broken, well, then that would be your buy signal. So all the way down, you could see that these stop levels were stopping you from buying at the top and you could ultimately get in at a much better price. So how are bracket breakout setups generated? If they're based on these very sensitive stop levels, how are they actually generated? Well, when dynamic stop levels are displayed both above and below the same bar, then a bracket setup is generated, okay? So what we're looking for is basically this. Say we find a bar here, a generic bar, it makes absolutely no difference if it's a five minute time frame or a weekly bar, it makes no difference. But what you'll find is a stop, a line below, and a buy stop above. So this will generate the bracket setup, okay? So how does this work? Well, usually what will happen is you'll see the next bar and the next maybe two or three bars within the range of the bracket setups, okay? So what will happen is if you happen to trade at or above the buy stop level, well then, that's basically telling you to buy anywhere above that level. That's really it. It's telling you you can buy anywhere above. And if it is trading below, then you can sell anywhere below. It's that simple. It really isn't that complicated. There's nothing really you have to think about like strategy where you're determining the rules and counting the numbers and the bars and looking at the buy sell line. This is extremely simple because it's all calculated within the buy stop and the sell stop. That's why we call it our bracket breakout trading method because we're looking for a breakout either to the upside or to the downside. And remember, you can buy anywhere above or sell anywhere below. So the next question, how do bracket breakout setups differ from other specialist trading methods? Well, there's a number of them. Firstly, the market, not you, decides which direction you will be trading. For example, if you're a type of trader that likes to go both long and short, well, if we break out to the downside and trade below that lower threshold, well, then the market has decided for you that you'll be a seller. Whereas if the market decides to break up above the top threshold, well, then the market, not you, has decided that you'll be a buyer. Because this is the pure sense of that you are trading in sync with what the market wants to do. You're not involved or attached in any way. You're basically uh, you know, going down the river and letting the river take you wherever it wants to go. You're not swimming against the current the way so many traders do. Now next, bracket breakout setups don't require applying the buy-sell line. You've heard me say in so many of our strategy courses and in my webinars that you must always apply the buy-sell line for trading because that tells you the overall trend. Well, guess what? This isn't determined on trend. Breakouts occur either on top of the uh, buy-sell line or below it. So we're not concerned with that. Now, sure, if you want to be more conservative, you can apply that. And I'll show that in the course when we have our live one day event class. But if you don't want to apply the buy sell line, there's no need to apply it. Next, the bracket breakout setups come with predefined risk parameters. One way to trade them is if, let's say you break out to the upside, and price starts to trade above the higher threshold. Well, then you would simply use the lower threshold as your stop loss. So if we all of a sudden reversed and the trade didn't work out, well then you would use that to get out of the trade. Now, if you want it to be more aggressive, you could stop and reverse. You could be stopped out of your initial long and go short. And I'll explain and go into that in the course as well. But you already know the predefined uh, risk that comes before you even enter. So therefore you can say to yourself, well, okay, my predefined risk is a little bit too much for my liking here. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep at night. So then you can pass on the trade before you even got into it. or if it meets your uh, risk uh, parameters, go ahead and get into the trade. 
Next, these setups are not based on pullback or continuation entries. All of our strategies and techniques are either twofold. They're either based on price selling off in an overall uptrend so that we could buy at lower prices, that's a pullback, or a continuation entry. That's where the trend has really started to move in some direction and we just jump on board an already established trend. You see, what's different about this, the breakouts, is that we don't care if we're in a trend or not. In fact, some of the best setups, in my opinion, are when there's no trend, when it's trendless, because these uh, bracket breakout setups are basically coiling, getting ready to break out one way or the other. And you'll see that in, in upcoming examples. So we don't really use the same techniques or methods that we do for standard strategies. And then lastly, traders may take as long as they want for a setup to be triggered. In other words, if you're a student of mine in some other courses, as you've known, many times a signal is generated and you have to get in either that day or in the next day or two. If you don't get in, then the signal is negated. OK, and we've said because of the way the uh, strategies have been generated, what they're based upon, their concepts, that if you don't get in within the next couple of bars, usually, well, the trend has dissipated and it's time to get out. But because the bracket breakouts are not based on any trend filter, we don't really care if, if uh, you know, uh, we get in on the next bar. And I'll show you some examples where you get in maybe a week later and it still works out fine. So these are all things that are different from our basic strategies. And I think one of the things a lot of traders will find more inviting is that they're not held by the restrictions of strategies and techniques that we've taught in the, in the past, where you're basically free to trade this wherever you want. Okay, so let me share with you how to apply the bracket breakout setup feature. Remember, you'll only find this on our platform, the PTS Primo charting platform. Here's an example in Apple that just happened just nearly a month ago, okay? So it's very recent. All right, someone looking at this, the standard analysis would say, okay, well, we've come up and it's looking pretty good, but look, it's run into some resistance. You say, well, how do you know there's resistance? You say, well, I took that $10,000 course that talks about all the institutions and I got that indicator that it gave me and all the institutions are selling here. So I've got to get out because they're never wrong, right? The institutions know what they're doing. That's the big money. So you say to yourself, I guess I better get out of my position or I better forget about buying Apple. How could the BBTM help you or the bracket breakout trading method help you? Well, on our platform, you simply go to dynamic stops right up here because it's based on these stops. In the drop down menu, click on bracket and automatically the bracket will appear. There's nothing you need to do. And if there's no bracket, you obviously you won't see anything. But if there is one, well, now you have a choice. OK, so these, in my opinion, these are the best setups where you have a bracket and you have a day or two following because this really tells you that the, the setup is really coiling, getting ready to explode either one way or the other. We don't know which direction though, so we're waiting for the market to tell us. Remember, if we break below this threshold right here with the number 125.94, we'll be a seller. But if we happen to break out above, we'll be a buyer. And we don't have to buy at this exact number. We can buy anywhere above. Now, the next day, we actually traded there and closed above. So we could have bought anywhere above this level. We could have waited for the close of the day just to confirm it if we're a little bit more conservative. Makes no difference. And then ultimately, Apple went up 17 points coming into this last week, okay? And it was all because you just saw these brackets. Remember, the, the bracket is not telling you that there's a trend in play. It's not telling you that it's pulling back. It's not telling you that the trend's going to uh, change and go the other direction. It's just saying that it, is getting ready to break out one way or the other. We don't know which way yet, but that's the beauty of this. You can just jump on board whichever direction the market tells you it wants to go, which in my opinion is the true essence of trading. All right, so let's look at some recent bracket trade examples. These are all within the last month. Now, uh, I have to tell you that the majority of these are to the upside because as we all know, the market, except for the last couple of days, has been going straight up. So we haven't had a lot of uh, examples to the downside. And if you're new to my webinars, I only like to show examples that happened within the last month or so. But there are a few examples that took, that were like two months ago because uh, they were sell examples. And those are the only ones we could find that were uh, of this uh, you know time period. So uh, I didn't want to go back any further than a month or two. but. Most of the examples will be to the upside. In fact, towards the end of the presentation today, you'll see some examples that happened just last week. Okay, 
So let's look at CLOV, okay? Clove. Once again, most traders would look at this and say, gosh, Steve, we're in a non-trendy market. But see, the beauty of this is with the bracket breakout trading method, we're actually looking for these non-trendy markets. That's where the stock or the currency or the future is getting ready to explode. Usually before something takes off, it's going sideways for a while. I mean, think of it. Most of the stocks that break out aren't going straight up. You know, we will see some examples of that. And most of the ones that break down aren't going straight down already. What's happening usually is they're getting set up for this breakout. So we're looking for these non-trendy markets where you normally you'd say, well, see, there's nothing happening there. I don't want to get involved in that. These are the markets you're looking for. And as we go into summer, when things are really getting quiet, you'll see so many of these non-trendy markets. So if you're looking for a market or a method to trade during choppy or sideways markets, this is a perfect one to, to uh, apply. So right here in the middle of this uh, non-trendy market, which was just coming into June, as we look forward here, all we see is that clicking on the dynamic stop uh, a page, we click on bracket, look what happened here. The day before June last month, we had a bracket followed by an inside bar, okay? So this is telling us that the market is coiling, it's getting ready to bust out one way or the other. We don't know which way yet though. It could be up, could be down. So let's see what happened. Well, a day later, you had a chance to get in. You either could have purchased right there, roughly about 820, 825, or on the close, anywhere above the high, anywhere above that green bracket is a place you can buy. It doesn't have to be at that level. Either way, in four days, broke out 17 points. Now, is there any way you could have known that was gonna break out that, that high? No, but we teach you in the course what to look for, and I will show you different exit points as well in the course. Here's another example in Marin Software, M-R-I-N. Once again, we call this flatlining because it looks like you know in a hospital when someone has passed away, the flat line on the, uh, on the uh, screen there. Well, that's basically, it looks as if this market is really passed away itself, it's dead, it's not doing anything, it's flatline. So most traders would say to themselves, why do I wanna get involved in this? Well, all you have to do though, click on the PTS dynamic stops and the brackets in the drop-down menu. And guess what? In the middle of that flatline, there's a bracket set. Now, here's the thing. This is basically a one and three quarter dollar stock. So obviously you're not, if it happens to trade below, you're not going to sell it short and say, well, I'm going to go short this or I'm going to be a seller because what's your, 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 your range? You have basically a point and a half maximum that you can make. And why would you want to short a dollar stock? So obviously we're only going to view this from the upside. Okay. So let's see what happened. This was coming into uh, July. This was just a couple of weeks ago. And for a full week, nothing happened. It didn't break below the lower threshold and it didn't break above. So this is what I said before. This is what's different from like our strategies or techniques. It's not like a method where we say, well, we're looking for trend. And uh, if it doesn't happen on the next bar, or so, uh, you know, negate the setup. Well, we don't have to worry about that now. We can wait a week. We can wait a month if we want. It's entirely up to you. But right now, the market is telling us that it's really, uh, you know, coiling up, getting ready to explode. Now, ultimately, on the 24th of June, just about three weeks ago, look what happened. We gapped up above. So you could have purchased either on the opening or the close, anywhere, somewhere around two and a half, let's say, okay? Still a very inexpensive price. And in the next two weeks, it went from two and a half to 27 and a half. That's 25 points you could have potentially made. You see, that's why we say this is such a great method for capturing these breakouts. Now, it's not guaranteed that everyone's going to be like this. Sometimes it work out better than others. But the point is, that's what it's designed for. If you're the type of trader that feels like you're always missing these moves, you want to be involved with the bracket breakout method. All right, let's look at AMC. Now, this was actually coming into June, and AMC had already started to go up. But I just got this example specifically because traders are always saying, well, gosh, you know, these are the ones in the news. These are the ones that everyone's talking about. How come I miss these? Well, here's a way that you could not have missed this. All you would have to do is, once again, click on, and you would have seen here on the 28th of May, the day coming in before June, just about a little over a month ago, there was a bracket. Now, the next day, once again, we were in the range of the brackets. These, as I said, are, in my opinion, the best setups when you have almost like an inside day after the bracket, okay? Because we're coiling. It just doesn't take off. We're coiling, getting ready. Now, look what happened the next day, the 2nd of June. You could have purchased on the opening there, 
and potentially captured 35 points in just one day. Okay, so this is what we're talking about. You know, traders love to play that victim game. Like, gosh, I was thinking about AMC, but I missed it. I didn't do anything. I walked away and look what happened. Well, you don't have to say that anymore. Remember, you are in charge of your trading destiny. Never play that victim game. Too many traders and students I have always play the victim game. Like, oh gosh, I missed it. Oh, the market took advantage of me. You're in charge of your own trading destiny. You have to take responsibility. And one way to help you get in that consistent level is by applying the bracket breakout trading method. All right, let's look at CRISPR, CRSP. Basically kind of going sideways, kind of in a range market, right? But look what happened right here in the first or second week of June. We had a bracket right here, followed by the next day inside, and then anywhere once it closed above here or traded here. Remember, it doesn't have to close, it just has to trade there. But if you want to be more conservative, you can wait for the close. But you could have purchased there and it went up a little bit and there was another setup about two weeks later. But ultimately, if you held on, that's 47 points. So sometimes the breakout is in a couple of days and other times it may take two or three weeks, but ultimately it's still a great move. Now here's the uh, cell example I talked about. This one was in Tesla, we're going back to May. Someone looking at this would say, yeah, Tesla does look bad, but Steve, the stock fell from basically 750 down to 100 points, down to roughly 650. I don't want to buy it here and I can't sell it here. So I don't think I'm gonna do anything. It's oversold, but I'm kind of afraid to get involved in this. Well, here's how the BBTM can help you because right there, it was telling you that it's coiling to make a move. You just didn't know which move yet. Now we had the inside day. As I said, these are where, in my opinion, the best setups where the next day is kind of an inside pattern where it's within the range. But then on the next day, we broke out below. Now this is where we say it does not have to close there. So you could have sold once it touched there or anywhere below or waited for the next day for it to close there. But ultimately you want to be looking at this from a seller's point of view. Now, if this didn't work out and went right back up, well then you would place your stop here and you would cover your loss right here. So if that's too much risk for you, then say to yourself, okay, I'm not going to take the trade. Or if it was uh, okay, if it met your risk parameters, then you could have sold, you could have purchased the puts or, some type of uh, spread strategy with a bias to the downside. That would have been a wise decision because look what happened to Tesla. In the next three weeks, it fell 120 points. All right, let's look at Costco now. Once again, this is what we would call a range market. Here's the trouble with range markets. Most traders, it's like the slot machines. You, you, I always say this, this metaphor, but you know, the slot machines are designed to give you a winner so that you'll stay there long enough because we know ultimately if you stay there long enough, you're gonna lose and give back all your money. So they're designed that way. It's the same way with range markets. Most traders will look at a range and say, hey, this is pretty easy. When we get up here, I figured it out. You sell at the top of the range, you buy here, you sell it again, you buy here, and now look at, I'm gonna sell again. I'll, I'll become a millionaire doing this all day long. This is so easy. And sure, you get a couple of good winners and you get this really high sense of confidence that you, you're on track and you're, you know how to trade. But if you had the uh, bracket breakout trading method, it was actually telling you that you had a bracket right here, a couple of days in the range. And then right here, where you were thinking of selling at the top of the range, you should actually be buying because it broke out of the top threshold. So this is where traders usually give it all back because they say, this is just so easy. I'll just keep doing this all along. And then if you had sold, you would have lost a lot of money. Whereas if you had the bracket breakout trading method, you could have taken advantage of a 28 point gain. Now, sometimes as you'll see in this example, setups will be generated all the way up. Here's an example in NEGG, okay? Once again, we're looking at a sideways market. But look what happened right there. This is a $10 stock, but this is what you're looking for. This is a perfect method for these sideways markets. And like I said, we're coming into summer here. This is a perfect way to trade these sideways, really listless markets. If they decide to break out, the breakout, breakout trading method can really help you. Now you had the uh, brackets right here, the next day, we're followed by that inside day, and then a, still another one. But look what happened two days later. 
you broke out above and closed well above. Now, you could have bought anywhere here, even on the close if you wanted to. But let's say you bought right at the breakout, right at roughly about 10 and a half. Well, that's a nice 68 points in one week, okay? This is why you're missing these breakouts because you get lulled into sleep by these sideways markets. Now, I'm not saying that every sideways listless markets, every sideways non-trending market will produce a bracket, but that's okay. You won't trade those, but the ones that do have a bracket are the ones that have a high probability setup for a big move that's going to take place. Now, let's look at NTLA. Remember, we talked about that earlier, okay? Here's the buy setup. This was just uh, in June. This was just about a couple of weeks ago. You could have purchased anywhere once it traded above. Now, this didn't have a day inside the brackets. It broke out immediately the next day. But a lot of traders said, well, Steve, I would have missed that, right? No, because you can buy anywhere above. You, if you didn't buy there, you could have bought here or here. Either way, let's say you purchased at 85. You didn't get to buy it at 81. But that's okay because you still could have potentially captured over 100 points, possibly 120 in the next week. So when we say buy anywhere above or sell anywhere below, it's basically up to you. It's not a strategy where you have to buy at a certain level or sell at a certain level. You can get in whenever you want. You just know now that which direction most likely this is going to be breaking out. How about DTST, all right? This is an inexpensive stock, all right? And look how long it took for it to break out one, two, three days. So these are where I say it really, these are the most exciting setups because they're really coiling. They're getting ready to explode. Now, anywhere above here, you could have purchased roughly about six and a half. And in one day, the stock went up to roughly 13. Now, someone would say, yeah, but see, that's only seven points. That's really not a lot. You're right. You know, it's not 120 points, but guess what? That's a hundred percent price gain in just two days. All right. Think of, if you bought Tesla and you made 100% on the price in two days, not 100% on your trade, if the price gained 100% in two days. So it's all relative. You could have really purchased a lot of shares on this inexpensive six and a half dollar stock. All right, let's go over the process once again, just to show you how simple it is. Here's an example in Amazon, just going back about a month ago. Now, obviously Amazon was in an uptrend, okay? Here is why most traders miss these big moves, because they'll say to themselves, well, yeah, you know, it's kind of gone up, but guess what? You know, I took that class on candlesticks and there's a doji right there. And I remember the instructor told me that, uh, you know, dojis represent that we may be having a trend change. So that's kind of a red flag right there. And on top of that, that uh, trading room I go to says that we're tremendously overbought. All the indicators and everything is tremendously overbought. The institutions are selling. I just don't feel comfortable with being a buyer. So maybe I'll look to buy puts or maybe I'll just walk away and look for something else, okay? Well, using the bracket setups, all you have to do is click it on, on our uh, platform. And you would have seen here, but guess what? Two days earlier, there was a bracket breakout setup. Now, if you missed it, that's okay because you don't have to purchase it here. Anywhere above is a high probability buy. So this is where it differentiates from our strategies. There's no entry point, there's no exit point. It's all up to you where you wanna you know, get in. But either way was a good entry point because had you purchased anywhere above that, well, the stock coming into last week was up almost 400 points higher. So you had a really great setup here, all just based on by just clicking it on on our platform. It's that simple. Okay, let's review what we talked about before I tell you about a great offer we have. What are the advantages of trading with the bracket breakout method? Well, once again, let's go down the list. The market, not you, decides which direction you'll be trading. Now, if you're the type of trader that only wants to buy, you don't like to sell, well, if it breaks to the downside, you don't do anything. You'll only wait for breakouts to the upside. If you're the type of trader that feels, well, the market's terrible, I only want to take the breakouts to the downside, well, then only take those. Right? Either way, you'll have a high probability setup. Now, these bracket breakout setups don't require applying the buy sell line. So you're not held to the restrictions the way many of our strategies are. It makes no difference whether it's in an uptrend or a downtrend. We really don't care. We're only looking at a breakout. The bracket breakout setups come with predefined risk parameters. If you decide to trade it this certain way, let's say you buy, well, then you just simply use the lower bracket as your stop level. If you decide to go short, well, then you use the upper bracket as your buy level. That's your risk. 
So you know before going in what your risk is. Now, setups are not based on pullback or continuation entries. All of our strategies are either pullback or buying at lower levels within an overall uptrend or continuation method where we're waiting for a trend to be established and then we're jumping on board. But once again, we're not using any of those parameters with the breakout breakout method. And lastly, traders can take as long as they want for a setup to be triggered because your entry is really based on you. You can wait days, weeks, even months for one of those ranges, bracket ranges to be uh, uh, touched or broken out of. And you can decide for yourself where to buy. Even if it trades there, you can say, well, I want it to close there. I'll wait a couple of days above before I get in. So you can wait as long as you want. It's entirely up to you. So trading with the BBTM is like standing in line. Now, before you were at the back of the line and it feels like everyone else is catching these big moves, right? They're right at the top of the line making these big moves in AMC and GameStop. And you're at the back saying, gosh, how come I can't take advantage of these big moves? But once you have the breakout, breakout trading method, it's almost like you're going right to the front of the line and you're right to the front of the ATM and you're being able to capture those profits because now you know where they're going to take place before anyone else does. All right, here's a great offer we have for all of you taking the time out to attend this presentation. We're gonna tell you all about getting involved in our introductory special offer. That's our bracket breakout trading method introductory special offer. Remember, this is designed to identify big moves. If you felt for so long that you're missing all the big moves, this is the course you wanna take. It's completely different from any other course we've had before. Now, included in this, we will give you the proprietary chart add-on. So you can see these brackets on your platform. But this also comes with a live instructional class. This is a one-day class I'll have specifically for our students who are members of the Bracket Breakout Method. And I'll show you ways in which to trade it and ways in which I like to trade it as well. Now, you can apply this to any market, any time frame, because the market is deciding which direction it wants to go, not you. Now, this all comes with educational correspondence. You'll get my personal email me, where you can contact me and email me anytime you'd like. Now, you saw the simplicity I showed of applying this on our platform. So we want to share that with you. Here's what we're going to do. Included in this great offer I'm going to share with you is a full year free of the PTS Primo charting platform. You're going to get a full year to use this along with the BBTM, the Bracket Breakout Trading Method. Now, that also comes with our enhanced buy sell line. If you want to use the buy sell line to give it a more conservative approach to trading, you can use that. We have four different features, a strength of trend tool. This is a tool to help you say you have a really tremendous breakout and you want to know if the trend is going to go higher or lower. This has an uncanny ability to tell you if a trend is running out of steam or it still has more room to the upside or downside. Over 90 of the most prominent technical indicators, auto generated exit levels to help you when to get out. And you can scan for these bracket breakout setups, okay? Now, if you had uh, become a student of this, let's say I'd given this uh, you know, a talk uh, a month ago and you became a member of this course, well, you could have scanned for all of these. These happened within the last week or so. Here's a 15 minute chart of the E-mini futures. This was on the 6th, this was last week. Uh, this was on the 6th of July. As you see, there was a bracket breakout setup right here. You see how there's the next bar where nothing happened, and here is where you could have gone in. As I said, these are my favorite setups where it doesn't break out right away, where you can see a day or two to wait, and that's where you get in. Anywhere above, you could have potentially, in three hours, captured 25 E-mini future points. That's roughly about $1,200 per contract. Or if you like to trade currency pairs, this also happened last week. This is a four-hour chart of the dollar yen, okay? Now, here you have two bracket setups. Here's the first one you could have taken advantage of to the downside. And here's the next one you could have taken up to the downside. You see how you had all of these inner bars here within the realm of the brackets? And look how it broke down real fast, okay? Potentially, taking this signal alone, you could have potentially captured 120 pips. That's over $1,200 per unit. And then lastly, how about a weekly chart of Bitcoin, okay? So this is going all the way back to October, actually September of last year, 2020. If you looked at this, you'd say to yourself, well, yeah, in hindsight, sure, Bitcoin's been going straight up, but how would I have known? Well, let's look back to the middle of September. These are weekly bars. And in the middle of September, there was a, breakout, a bracket breakout 
set up right around that bar there, right here, okay? And once again, if you look at Bitcoin, it was basically doing nothing, going sideways. These are the markets it works the best in, in my opinion. Now, it did nothing for one, two, three weeks. So for three weeks, you were actually were out of Bitcoin until this week. Now, anywhere above here, the BBTM was telling you, you should be long Bitcoin. And look what happened in the next six to eight months, 50,000 points, okay? So ask yourself, we're already in the second half of 2021. Don't you think bracket breakouts can help your trading for the remainder of the year? Ask yourself honestly, could this really help you? If you're the type of trader who's you know, really taken a series of losses and you feel like, gosh, trading is just too difficult for me, I strongly feel this can really help your trading. Okay, let's break down this introductory special offer for all of you taking time out and listening to this course today. Now, the early pre-launch special price is $49.95 because that's how valuable this is. You saw all of the examples I just shared with you that happened within the last month that could have paid for this rather easily. But we're still, still gonna discount. In fact, we're gonna discount that $1,000. You're gonna save $1,000 and the price drops down to $39.95. Remember, this also includes a full year of the PTS Primo charting platform. So you're gonna get that included as well. That's roughly uh, another thousand or two in savings. But the best thing about this is if $39.95 is still too difficult, too big of an amount for you to come up with, you can establish a payment plan with Pro Trader Strategies, okay? For a small deposit, which is a small deposit, you can establish a payment plan so that you can pay on a monthly basis and still be up and running and become a student of the bracket breakout method. Now, important to remember, Included in your membership is a special one-day live event. I will be teaching this one-day live course to students only. And you will see in that the different ways in which to apply the bracket uh, breakout setups. Okay, I'll show you how I like to trade them. I'll show you some other special features that I didn't even go into today. Ways in which to exit, ways in which to enter. Another way in which to filter out some of these trades to see what some of the better setups are. So I'm really gonna go in depth in, into all these ways in which to trade it and that's for students only of the Bracket Breakout Method course. So this is a special one-day live event. Please sign up now if you're serious about taking your trading to the next level because class size is limited. Reserve your spot now. Here's how to take advantage of this. Contact Pro Trader Strategies. They uh, develop the platform and the uh, Bracket Breakout Method with me. They're in charge of all the pricing and all the discounts. If you have a question about discount or establishing a payment plan, I would strongly suggest calling them directly at 310-598-6677 because they have trading consultants on the phones right now. They can take your order if you like, or they can answer your question about pricing or discounting or establishing a payment plan. And remember, once again, there's absolutely no obligation. You can just find out uh, pricing and, and think it over while you're viewing this video, which we'll send to you. Now, that link you see at the very bottom is the link that will take you to the info page. A lot more information on that page, but it's not a live link. All you have to do is go to the chat box on the GoToWebinar column. A live link has just been posted, and you can go there and click that on, and it's a live link, okay? And I promised you I would answer any questions. We have about 10 or so minutes left. So if you have any questions concerning what I went over or the class, uh, now's the time. Just go to your question and answer box on the GoToWebinar column on the far right, and I will answer any question you have. Okay, question. Will this work on any platform and any satisfaction guarantee? Well, first of all, yes, we will give you the add-ons for uh, most of the major platforms. Once again, that's most likely a, a, a tech support question, so uh, feel free to contact ProTrader Strategies. But yes, you will get the add-ons so you can use it. But remember, you don't get the scanner. You won't get the other capabilities and other features that I'm going to go into detail in the one day live event. Now, we don't give satisfaction guarantee because, you know, once you learn these things like in the course and we tell you exactly how to trade this, well, you have all this information. So, uh, you know, you can ask for a refund, but then you still know how to apply it and what to look for. So what we do do now is um, if you contact Pro Trader Strategies, they will let you substitute for any other feature or strategy or, or course uh, that you like that's uh, that's of equitable cost so that you can feel as if you still got something, all right? But I would, once again, contact Pro Trader Strategies. They're in charge of all the pricing, all the discounting, all the uh, satisfaction, and the tech support. And uh, anything in terms of, of that, they can answer better than I. Anything in terms of actually trading it and how to trade it, 
that's well, that's my department, and I can answer those questions as well. Uh, someone's asking, when is this special one day class? Well, most likely, since we just this is the first webinar we've had that really specifically deals with the brackets, it will most likely be within the next couple of weeks. It probably be uh, probably at the beginning of August. Uh, we have no definite dates that it depends on how many people sign up. Sometimes when we have these new courses, we get inundated with people and we don't want to keep the courses that big because you don't get the type of attention to detail when it's a small intimate class. So we may have to have more than one class, but we try, try to keep the, the size to a small intimate level so that you don't get uh, lost and there's too many questions and your question is never answered. So uh, it all depends on how many uh, people we have. And also someone's asking, what time are the classes? Well, it's really up to the uh, students who decide to take the course. We usually like to have the class on uh, a Friday or a Saturday. That way you have plenty of time over the weekend to uh, study it and, and to paper trade and to see how to best apply it yourself. You know, we would rather do it then than have it during a weekday and then uh, you know, take a lot of your trading day looking at things and, and not being able to watch the market. So uh, this is uh, usually there, but if we have too many people, you know, we have students from around the world in Europe and uh, you know, Australia, and so sometimes we have to change the date and time. Uh, so it'll all be dependent on where the students are from. Uh, but uh, all of our uh, you know, one day classes and courses are recorded. So you also will get a link to all of the recordings and you can study at your own leisure if you can't make the live class, okay? Uh, will I talk about how to apply this by uh, with the uh, stop cells? Uh, I'm trying to understand your question. Oh, in other words, this, this student is asking how to apply uh, stops and how to apply exits. Yes, I will go over that in class. I don't, I don't want to get too much in detail that right now because that's something I'm going to be talking about in, in the course. And I want to reserve that for the students. I don't want to give away everything right now, but there are things I haven't spoken about, especially about a new feature we may be adding specifically on the platform only uh, for exiting. So it's really, really a good, it's a great way to trade with it with the platform. Uh, is it possible to combine BBTM with the PET D? Yes, it is. In fact, that's one of the things I'm going to go over in the course. Uh, you can if you'd like. And we've seen some uh, moderate success with the PET D as well. Uh, so uh, you can, and I will also go over that in the course as well. That's, that's a good point. Uh, you kind of took away one of the points I was going to be talking about in the class. So I don't really want to go over in that too much. But yes, you can apply that with it. Some of our, some of our other methods, if you have them, can be applied, but uh, you really can't. I say if you are, if you already have a strategy, let's say like strategy four or strategy ten, a strategy won't really work well with this. It's it, they're on based on different parameters and different rules. But if you have a technique or a, a trending method like uh, the PTSXT or uh, the Pet D, uh, you know even the buy sell line, I'm going to be talking about how you can add those with this as well. Okay, I just don't want to go too much in detail, but uh, there are different techniques can be added with it and will, in my opinion, increase your odds for a consistency. Okay, and also, yes, someone is asking, will I go on how I use it? Yes, I will. I'm going to show you how I like to use this tool because it, remember, once again, I shared, shared with you the majority of the examples were for stocks, but you can apply it with Bitcoin, currency pairs, futures, even commodities, okay? So I'll go over all of that in the one-day live event. Someone's asking once again when the live event will be. Most likely it'll be at the very first week of August. We'll, we'll give a couple of more weeks. We'll have maybe one more presentation uh, of this and then we'll close the class. So if you want to get in for this great discounted price, really take advantage of this offer because probably uh, the last time we talk about this, it'll be back up to closer to 5,000, okay? Remember, this comes with a full year of the platform. You know, on the platform, there are just dozens of other ways, scan, scanning capability, uh, different techniques, different methods already on the uh, platform that I didn't even go into. Those are all gonna be yours for a full year. So this is a great, great opportunity to get acquainted with us. And then lastly, someone's asking about the educational correspondence. Well, in the class, you can ask me any question you'd like and I'll answer it. Be, well, usually the classes last anywhere from one to two hours and we can go over any questions you may have and examples. But educational correspondence means that you have uh, access to my personal email address. You can contact me whenever you'd like with questions. So let's say it's a month later and you're uh, having an issue with it and you think like, I'm not sure exactly how to apply it this way. Just uh, email me with an example, a snapshot, and I will be right back there uh, within, uh, you know, usually within 24 hours answering your question. Sometimes within the next five, 10 minutes if it's a slow day.
So that's how you have, uh, it's almost like having me sitting right there next to you, okay? Okay, great questions. I hope you learned a little about this great new feature we have. I'm really excited about it because it's, it's unlike anything we've ever taught before. Firstly, it's extremely simple. You see how simple it is. It's basically, you're either gonna buy once we break out above the bracket or sell if you break down below, okay? And then I go into detail in the course telling you where I think are great ways to exit or to place your stops. It's really simple, but extremely powerful. You just saw all the examples all the buy examples happened within the last month. You could have taken advantage of all these. And these setups are being generated all the time. You can have scanning ability for them, and you can apply other techniques with them, which I'll go into in the course, all right? So this is a great opportunity. You can establish a payment plan or just buy it outright at this discount. Remember, that comes with a full year of the platform, okay? Thank you so much for attending. As we take one last look at our disclaimer, I just wanna thank you once again. I really hope you learned something about this great new feature. I'm excited about it. But most especially, I'd love to see you in our course, in our one day class, uh, most likely happening in the next couple of weeks. Thank you so much. I hope to see you in class. Bye-bye.